you've been around the internet, you've seen all the Studio Ghibli style images like this one, uh, 3D images, cartoon images, action figure images, all created through ChatGPT. In today's video, I'm going to show you the various options available for you to be able to animate them and bring them to life just like what you're seeing here. I'm going to break it into three types of animation. Your pretty much meme style animations just for fun and social media. And then I'm going to show you how you can do talking ahead videos just like the one you're seeing right now where the character is talking and speaking back to you. And then we're going to look at how you can put this all together to create full blown animations just like what you're seeing right now with complete consistent characters across the different scenes, multiple characters using ChatGPT as your main image generator. So let's get straight into the video. So just in case you've never created one of these images before, they're quite easy to do using the new ChatGPT image model. You want to head over to chatgpt.com uh, and it's now available for both the paid and free account. So when you head over to chatgpt.com, just head over to the chat box. You can upload an image of yourself. Like this one is a photo of me and simply just type in create this image as a cartoon. Um, that's what you get. And if you have a paid plan, you can also head over to sora.com to create this. So when you head over to sora.com again, right there at the bottom, you can simply just attach your image. Um, and you can ask it to generate an image of anything without attaching one. Uh, in this case, I'm going to say create this image uh, as a 3D cartoon. And that's what we have right here. The good thing about doing this on Sora is that you can create up to two images uh, on the plus plan. You can also choose your aspect ratio quite easily. Although you can do this in ChatGPT by adding the aspect ratio in your chat prompt. Now we're just going to go ahead and I can also modify what this character does. Like in this case, I'm going to say I want this character in a podcast studio and then I'm going to go ahead and create that. And that is what uh, ChatGPT gave us. You can see it's a 3D character uh, has some resemblance to the image I attached to it. And it doesn't have to be an image that you have um, uploaded. You can create, use it to create different types of images, both realistic cartoons, 3D and many more. All right, next, let's talk about the various ways you can bring this to life. There are many options and I'm going to show you a few. But before we do that, um, it's worth noting that if you're already on Sora, you can actually animate these images on Sora by simply heading down here next to the image and say create video. And then you can do a description of what you want the image to be. So in this case, I put a 3D cartoon character in a podcast studio. Now we're going to hit generate. And the reason why I do not use Sora for these animations is that it's not good at all with uh, these cartoon type animations. As you can see, it changed that to a 2D. Uh, here's another example where I gave it uh, a Ghibli style image and it just converted it into a human. So it looks like Sora is trained on realistic footages. So it doesn't do very well um, with this sort of 2D style. 3D style uh, cartoon animations when it comes to image to video. So it's just barely usable. All right, let's look at the first style of animations, which is your social media meme style videos, like characters dancing, doing silly stuff and things like that. There's several tools that can do this. In this video, we're going to cover a tool called Wiggle, which is a tool where you give it an input video and a reference image, and it's going to transfer whatever motion that you have in the video to the character in the image and it does that pretty well. I'm going to show you how that works. All right. So I've generated the following image right here from ChatGPT and I want to animate it. So I'm going to head over to wiggle.com. So right here, I'm going to upload my reference image. So this is the image right now that I've created. And to the left here, I can upload a video. So if I've recorded a video of me doing some actions, I can upload that there. Or I can also click on the template right here where they have some pre-made videos which are currently popular or trending. So let's go over to the dance buddy and I'm going to select one of these dancing ones right here. Um, let's go for this one. All right. So I'll select this one right here and I'm going to just hit confirm. So that's the sauce video and this is my sauce character. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and click generate. And this is the result. So as you can see, it's taking that cartoon image that we generated uh, Studio Ghibli style 
and giving it the same dance animation that was in the sauce video. And here's another one. I'm sure you've seen the crazy morning routine video. So I thought it would be funny to put that um, with the Studio Ghibli character of myself. And that's what that looks like. As you can see, it does that pretty well. And you can use your own real pictures to, to animate them here using Wiggle. All right, now let's talk about talking head videos. So doing some lip syncing, giving some audio to have your character speak, uh, just like the one you're seeing right here. Now, uh, there's several tools that can do this, and I'm going to show you three, which I think are some of the best results that I've gotten in animation style videos right now today. The first thing we need to do is generate some kind of audio. You can either record it like I'm doing right here, or you can use an AI tool. And if you've watched this channel for a while, you know I love 11 Labs. 11 Labs still to me is the best, um, text-to-speech audio generator that exists out there today. And they do give you about 10 minutes worth of free credits every month that you can play around with. So I've headed over to 11 Labs and I'm going to generate a test script uh, so that we can use that for our animation. And here's what that sounds like. Hey, hey, welcome to Frames and Flickers, the podcast where pixels come to life. So as you can see, it's very rich, very natural. That's why I love 11 Labs. All right, the first tool we're going to use to animate our lip sync is a tool called Hydra, and it has quite some very good lip syncing. And you can access it from hydra.com. Once you have it open, simply click right here on video. And once you have that, you want to do first upload your image. So whatever image we've generated on ChatGPT, you click right here on image and then upload. So I'm going to select this image I've created right here of me in a podcast studio. So the next thing is uploading your audio. So this audio we just generated from 11 Labs. I'm going to click on upload audio. I'm going to select it and upload that. It allows you to trim the audio and they also allow you to change the voice of the audio. You can choose one of the options they have here, but I like what we have from 11 Labs, so I'm not going to change that. Then I'm just going to click add to video. Now, the interesting thing about Hydra is that they actually allow you to type whatever gestures, animations you want the character to be doing as they're doing their lip sync. In my case, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to say a talking head video with hand gestures because I want the character to move his hands a little bit. And you can select different video models. The one that is good at the lip sync is called Hydra Character 3, which is the one up here. So which is the model we're going to select. And now you can select your aspect ratio and you can also select your resolution to a max of 720. And the duration is just going to be auto. And then I'm going to hit send. And this is what our final output sounds like. Hey, hey, welcome to Frames and Flickers, the podcast where pixels come to life. So as you can see, that was very natural, very, very good lip sync right there. Uh, very natural movement. Uh, you can also do this in 3D. So this is what it looks like when you do that in 3D. Welcome to Frames and Flickers, the podcast where pixels come to life and every frame tells a story. So the next tool we're gonna to be talking about is a tool by CapCut, which was recently released. It's called Dream Miner, Dream Mina. I'm not sure exactly how that is pronounced, but this is so far the best lip syncing tool I've seen. It's very natural with the lip sync, and I'm gonna show you how that works. So you wanna head over to dreammina.capcut.com. So once you're there, you wanna head over to AI Avatar and upload your image, whatever you've generated with ChatGPT. Now, there are different generation effects. I'm just going to select the master mode right here. And I'm also simply going to upload my audio, the same audio we did with 11 Labs. I'll click and upload my source audio. Now, it doesn't allow you to describe the gestures like Hydra does. So you just need to click on generate and let the AI decide what kind of animations to add to the overall image. Hey, hey, welcome to Frames and Flickers, the podcast where pixels come to life and every frame tells a story. So the mouth movement there is um, one of the most natural I've seen uh, from my many tests. The third and final tool we're going to talk about in this category is Clean AI, which is my overall favorite because you can animate the characters in different ways. It's not just about lip syncing. Whatever kind of animations you want to put in the characters, uh, Clean AI is one of the best for that out there today. To access the tool, you want to head over to Clean AI's website. I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video and all the tools that we've talked about today. So you can go to the description to click to access the tool. Now, once I'm here, I want to head over to video and then I want to click right here to upload my source image. Uh, first, I'm going to select clean 1.6 and I'm going to go here below to click to upload my image. And then here at the bottom, you can describe whatever it is you wanted to animate the image doing. 
And they also have a uh, deep seek, which you can use to help you um, optimize your prompt. So again, in this case, the prompt is going to be quite simple. We're going to do a more complicated one when we create the full animation. I'm simply just going to say a lively 3D character speaks energetically in a modern studio, smiling brightly with expressive hand gestures. And I'm going to select 10 seconds. That takes about 70 credits and I'm going to generate that. And that's what that looks like. You can see the lips moving, but it's not actually lip syncing to any audio. If you want to lip sync, you want to click on the lip sync option. That then takes you right here where you can type the text that you want the character to speak. Um, or there are several voices. Let's listen to them. Every time I open a book, it feels like stepping into... Good morning, world. It's a beautiful day to chase our dreams. I know you're looking for great value. Again, not too bad, but I still prefer the voices in 11 Labs. I'm going to head over to upload local dubbing and upload my audio from 11 Labs. And once that is processed, I'm going to hit generate. And that's what that sounds like. Hey, hey, welcome to Frames and Flickers, the podcast where pixels come to life and every frame tells a story. I'm your host, Emmanuel. So pretty great with the animations, pretty great with the gestures. The reason why I like clean AI is that you can do prompted to do other type of animations to your character, even if you're not trying to do a lip sync. So here are a couple of other examples that I've done of animating characters using clean AI, giving them different gestures. So it's my overall favorite. And I'm going to peer again all three tools that we've used side by side so you can see which you prefer. Hey, hey, welcome to Frames and Flickers, the podcast where pixels come to life and every frame tells a story. So the third category is putting all this together to create a full animated story with different characters, consistent scenes, consistent characters, lip sync, the whole yard using ChatGPT. And it's quite easy to do now with the ChatGPT image model. But because this video has gotten quite long, I'm going to create a separate tutorial, a separate video and put all of that and make that video dedicated just for that tutorial. That video is going to be coming out tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you can see that video when it comes out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It goes a long way with helping me grow this channel. I'm going to catch you in that video. As always, keep learning.